the process for us is basically when you have an idea, you, you start by programming drums. That's how we kind of write the music. So we use Cubase and we use uh, uh, tune track sounds, and we that's how that's kind of how we start. I'll be down in the rehearsal space and just kind of fiddle around on the kit, and if I if I find something that oh this sounded cool, this this is interesting, you know, if it's something that sounds interesting to me. Um, I will just kind of not evolve it further on the kit. I will go up and do that on the on the by programming drums. I don't go for the complexity, but uh, it's got to sound interesting to me, and usually it, it ends up being kind of complex. And um, and that's much easier to kind of dig into that deeper, you know, go, doing the drums in the computer and everything uh, first. So that's basically what we do. And once we have a whole song done, that's when we kind of start rehearsing it as a band, you know. You can't go completely nuts and then sit afterwards and, yeah, this is a great song, but we're not going to be able to ever play it, you know. We, we definitely go for for uh, writing live music, you know. It still has to be, you know, something that you you can and want to, like, rehearse and play and, and make a great song out of it. As far as recording, as, as I don't have any other side projects or anything, and we release an album pretty much every th three years or so, so it's always a long gap between. I don't do any session work or anything like that, so it's a long time between each recording. So for for me, it's something magically weird that happens as soon as I push record. It's a little bit like. You know, I tense up a little bit. Even if I do it myself, like I did with the last album, I didn't even have an engineer. I just kind of had a laptop that controlled uh, the recording process, um, that controlled like the main computer in the control room. So I just basically, you know, hit the buttons myself. Usually, I'm a bit more tense, like the first track or two. It's until I, you know, you kind of get into it. And live, I, I, I get really nervous, you know, before I play. I do, for sure, man. That's. Um, it's a good thing too because that kind of excites you as well, you know, to have a little bit of um, nervous uh, nervousness is, is kind of kind of keep keeps you on your toes, you know. With the touring for the Obsen album, we started using a click track. And it actually, it, it really helped me because all of a sudden I'm playing along to something because it's really hard for me to, to have guitars in the mix up so that it actually feels like I'm playing with the band. It's usually what I hear is me. Now I'm actually playing along with someone, that electronic guy in there, in that box, you know. Uh, I like playing too quick. Uh, you can sometimes hear it, you know, you're listening back to recordings, you can Sometimes I, I play it uh, at a certain tempo that's not really your most comfortable tempo, you know. And sometimes you can hear that there's something controlling you a little bit because your body wants to play either a little slower or a little faster, you know. But but usually, it, it, it at least it, it overall, I think it made us a better band just because the, the songs are more like kept in at the same pace, and so so I I, I really dig it. You know?